What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here. Today's topic is uh, the importance of protein distribution and how to optimize that. Really important topic, but before I get into it, listen, it's a pleasure to have you guys today. If it's your first time to the channel, um, if you love this content, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna support the channel, the best way you can do it is share this content. So we just finished this study on vitamin E and people are like, well, what does vitamin E have to do with protein distribution? Well, the study confirmed to me that what you see in the statistics in the overall American population is kind of what you see even in studies. We saw on average, people in this study were consuming 90 grams of protein a day, okay? The average amount of protein consumed actually in our society is around 90 grams a day. That's not much. Even more telling than that is how people distribute that protein. So typically what we see on the American pattern is people wake up in the morning, and what they'll do is they'll have a cereal, like frosted flakes, and maybe, you know, milk. What's in that? 10 grams of protein, maybe. Then maybe they'll head over to the store, they grab a, a, a chicken sandwich or a turkey sandwich, and that might have 20 grams of protein in a few slices. For dinner, you go over to a steakhouse or you have a couple burgers, you end up having 60 grams of protein. So 90 grams of protein, 10 grams, 20 grams, 60 grams. Now, a lot of people say, if it fits your macros, the only thing that matters is your macros. Nothing else matters. Well, what I'm about to tell you is that that's false. And let me tell you why. And not only is it not just your macros for a million reasons, but how you distribute your macros also matters. So basically, we have something called a protein threshold. We basically need to consume at least, probably 25 to 35 grams of protein, but let's say 25 to 30 grams of protein to hit that threshold. So if you look at this skewed distribution, maybe with breakfast, did they hit the threshold for building muscle and losing fat? No. With lunch, did they do it? 20 grams, probably not, or maybe they just started. So the only time they maximize the threshold is at dinner. So what researchers have done, basically actually fairly recent research that was done in conjunction with Dr. Donald Lehman, the late, sadly, Patton Jones, what they did was they um, took individuals and they had uh, on one day, they had 90 grams on a skewed distribution, 10, 20, 60. And another time they brought them in and they did 30 grams in the morning, 30 grams in the afternoon, 30 grams at night. And what they found was that total muscle building for the day was 25% higher when they actually equally distributed the same amount of protein. So what does this mean? It means two things. Number one, if it fits your macros is wrong because distribution actually does matter. And then two, how we distribute our protein throughout the day does matter. And like I said before, equally distributing protein throughout the day is very important. And if you wanna enhance that, have essential amino acids between meals. That's very important. So guys, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate your time. I'll see you next time.